Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I have some exciting news to share with you guys. Our couch from Valencia Theatre Seating has arrived and I'm so excited because we have been needing a new couch for a very long time. With Cooper, he, with his autism, he likes to have drinks with him all the time. So he makes a lot of spills on the couch and right now we have one of those, I don't know if it's considered like a microfiber, yeah, maybe. Um, so for right now, so everything stains on there and I do have one of those little green machines that I use to clean that couch, but it's getting pretty gross looking and needs to be cleaned again right now. But Valencia, a theater seating has sent us a brand new couch and I'm so excited to share with you guys so thank you to Valencia theater seating for sponsoring today's video but ooh, I'm so excited to have a new couch and we're gonna start working on maybe I'm working on some ideas for the living room makeover and now that we have our new couch I'm kind of basing what I want to do around that sofa so I'm really excited about it but we did get the sofa in the mail we have to still bring it in the house it's just sitting outside right now but um yeah for the living room makeover i'm definitely basing it around this couch so it's gonna come in time i'm gonna show you the couch today sorry if you can hear my little guy he is bouncing on his little trampoline in the background but um what was i gonna say i'm gonna share the couch with you in this video and then eventually we will work on the living room makeovers because there's a lot of ideas i have for that area and i, I know i still need to do the kitchen but because we got this sofa i'm kind of like leaning towards maybe doing the living room first I don't know but anyways without further ado I'm gonna show you guys what this sofa looks like oh my gosh it is so beautiful I cannot wait to share it with you guys so without further ado let's jump into showing what the sofa looks like okay guys here is the big box I'm not gonna walk you all the way down there because my address is on the box but ooh, I'm so excited when my husband gets home from work we're gonna be bringing in this couch um, let me see if the name is on the box. Yes, it's upside down, but it's the Artisan Leather Three Seater Sofa, and it's in the cognac color, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Here's a little picture of what it looks like on the box. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to get this in the house and show you what it looks like. Okay, friends, so this is what our current living room looks like. The last time you would have seen the living room, that's the long sofa, would have been under this window i ended up changing it around i really like the way that this looks better and i cannot wait the new coach is going to go on this wall but like i said i'm going to show you the couch because it is like see all those spots yeah i have to clean this quite often obviously i haven't cleaned it in a while i typically just keep a blanket over it right now because he does make such a mess on it but Anyways, this is what our current living room looks like right now. I have so many plans. I'm going to texture the walls and do um, picture molding, I think is what I'm going to do. We'll have the new sofa. Well, that is a new coffee table that I got when we moved in here. So that's going to be staying. I want to get a new TV stand and those bookshelves I love. I just really need to... It's a work on... It's, it is not decorated in here. It is just like thrown together since we live, moved in here because I've been working on so many other projects. But I can't wait to start this project. I think it's going to be really nice because this is this area that we spend the most time. This area and the kitchen. And I know the kitchen needs to be done. but And it's a mess in there. But I don't know. The living room might be next on my list. What do you guys think? We are getting the couch. So we're like one step closer to getting like what we need for this area so I don't know maybe the living room is definitely gonna be next we'll see but again let's get that new sofa in here and see what it looks like forever so I can hold you in my arm I 
Valencia Artisan Wide Leather Sofa is fully upholstered in the finest 100% Italian Napa uh, 11,000 top grain leather for premium and sophisticated look and feel. It is crafted from the robust alder wood. This sofa marries style with enduring durability. Its solid construction ensures, ensures long-lasting support while its elegant design elevates any living space. Well-developed cushioning exhibits easy maintenance with removable covers for simple upkeep. Feel the ergonomic support with foam cushioning supported with polyfiber fluff for added softness. And it is especially crafted leather designed to resist even the most determined pet scratches, which is perfect for us because we do have a dog who <laughs> likes to sneak, sneak up on the couch when we're not looking or if we're gone to bed or something like that. He does like to sneak up. Even though he's not supposed to be on it, he does sneak up. So that's going to be perfect for us. And I will have all of Valencia Theater Seating's information linked down in the description box below for you and including the name of the sofa that we received. We are absolutely loving it. Highly recommend. So like I said, I'll have all of their information linked down in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so we have been living with this couch for a few days now and we are absolutely loving it. Um, it is a little bit more on the firmer side, but we're actually loving the little bit more firm side. Um, we Our old set is actually still in here. Um, we're, we are getting ready to get rid of it, but in that one you kind of like sink down in and we've been used to that for so long that when we got this, this was a little bit um, harder to get used to, but honestly we are loving it. It is, even though it's firm, it is very comfortable. Um, my husband has taken a nap on it. I have taken a nap on it. Um, We've had our sons like lay down on here and watch a movie. Uh, we have just been really enjoying it and having these pillows on the side is kind of a nice little touch because when you are laying down it is kind of nice to have that. Um, so yeah, we've been absolutely loving this couch and yeah, uh, now I'm going to get my decorative pillows on here so you can kind of see what it looks like with that on there as well. But I am seriously just absolutely loving this couch. It is so, it feels so luxuri luxurious, I can't even say the word, um, and honestly, I'm just absolutely loving it. So, anyways, let's get the throw pillows on here so you can kind of see what it looks like with the throw pillows, and yeah. Full stop, can't believe I live in your thoughts, I think about you all the time, morning, evening. Okay, so this is how it's looking in here right now. I know it's a little bit grainy because it is overcast outside. It is snowing right now, so I do apologize. Um, but this is how the living room is looking right now. This couch is definitely going. Um, we may or may not keep the love seat. We kind of like the idea of it together. We'll see. Um, our plan was to get two like accent chairs, so I'm still thinking of doing that. But we still like we need to get rid of this so that it's not like taking up room in the living room because right now it's like you know a little walkway there but i have completely changed this living room around i am absolutely loving like how this all looks here obviously we need to get rid of this but i'm loving how this is all looking and then I did end up changing the tv again it was in front of this window i moved it to the corner it's still a work in progress in here, obviously. I haven't done any makeovers, makeovers or anything, but I did get some black paint to paint the dresser black, so I'm gonna do that. I think that'll really help um, with the whole, I'm, I think I'm definitely going for a more moody look in here. I don't know, I always loved light and bright, but for some reason, like, I on Instagram, Okay, sorry about that. I got cut off because I didn't have any more space on my memory card. But what I was saying is on Instagram and Pinterest, I'm leaning towards more moody vintage cottage looks. So I think that's where I'm headed. <laughs> I still do love the white and bright, but I think I'm like leaning towards moody vintage. I don't know. That's kind of like I... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just leaning towards that right now. So I'm going to paint the dresser black. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the walls yet. I still do want to do want to do the picture molding. So that's kind of still where I'm at for that. But for the color, it may or may not still be white. 
um, like the same white that I have in the hallway and the dining room which is Swiss Coffee by Bear. I love that color. It's a creamy white. It's not like a true bright white, which I love. So that may or may not happen in here. I don't know if I'll go super moody in here, but I did end up painting this side table here a like moody, deep purple red color. It's Elderberry by uh, Fusion Paint, and I love the way that that looks. I love that. So... Yeah, I don't know. I might be leaning towards like a moody vintage look. I just, I'm just really loving that right now. But I love how this couch turned out in here. I just love it. So anyways, I wanted to kind of share you, share an update of like what my thoughts are for the living room and how the couch looks in here and things like that. And like kind of what I'm going to do going forward. Like I said, I'm going to do picture molding. I do want to get some new curtains. I I have been seeing a lot of people use velvet curtains, so I want to, sorry, you can't even see it because it's in front of the window. Let's see if I go this way. It's a little bit better. So for the curtains, I want to go all the way to the ceiling and a little bit further out so that um, it doesn't get caught like on the couch or chairs or whatever we decide to put there. Um, so just make the rod go further out probably to like here and then so that the curtains aren't like, you know, bunched up behind a chair or a couch. Um, so that's kind of the idea for that. I'm thinking velvet curtains, maybe green or like a deep, like, I don't know, like there's a golden brown color that I really like as well. So we'll see, but this is how it's looking so far. I'm absolutely loving it. It's all coming together and I'm so excited, even though I still have projects to do and painting and stuff, how this looks right now, I'm just absolutely loving so that's all to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out. And definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy decorating videos, thrifting videos, makeover makeover videos. I do lots of that type of lots of that type of content here on this channel and I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing and I want to say thank you again to Valencia Theatre Seating for sponsoring today's video. We are absolutely loving our couch. Like I said, I have taken it's very comfortable. I've taken naps on it. My husband's taken many naps on it he is like obsessed with the couch he it's our it's his favorite couch that we have ever owned like he's like obsessed with it he loves it so um yeah if you want to check out valencia theater seating i will have all of the information linked down in the description box below for you and the name of the couch that we have we have the artisan leather sofa and or three-seater sofa and we are just honestly loving it it is perfect for this space um yeah, so like I said, I will have all of their information linked down in the description box below for you guys. And again, thank you to Valencia Theatre Seating for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.